men's competition continues here at the Ice Center, but we wanted to take a moment to go back and talk about the pairs judging controversy from last night, which has dominated conversation all of today. This was the scene last night as Jamie Saleh and David Peltier went to Canada House and heard the anthem that they had hoped to hear during the medal ceremonies. Then this morning, the judges arrived for a previously scheduled review meeting, and two and a half hours later, the International Skating Union issued a statement saying an internal assessment would be undertaken to determine if ISU rules and procedures have been respected. This amid allegations now of collusion and result fixing among the judges. And Scott, you've had uh, 24 hours to think it all over. Uh, uh, has your opinion changed? I haven't slept much, that's for yeah. sure. Uh, no, I, I, you know, I soul searched and I wondered, you know, could we have been caught up in the emotion of the right. evening? Could we have really been putting Bears and INC really against themselves instead of the rest of the event? And I looked it over and I thought it over. I looked at everything. I even called a lot of friends who I truly <laughs> respect. And we were right. I really still believe that we made the right call, and I still think that as great as Anton and Sigurdlitz are, you know, Tom Sigurdlitz and, and Lena Vesnaya are, they did not win the night. And when you look at the judges' scores, three judges had them tied in the technical score. Now, the problem with that is Anton made a big mistake. He stepped out of that double axle. He barely held on to landing. He was lucky to get on a foot at all. And watch them side by side. On the left, the gold medalists. And on the right, the silver medalist. Now watch the landings, and it's just, nope, that's a big, big error, and it should have cost them, and it didn't. A lot of the elements that Anton and Elena did were a little scary. They hung on to a lot of things. Let's throw again. Watch the speed coming out of the right pair. The left pair hangs on. Watch this. Hang on, hang on, way forward. Jamie Landhurst forward as well, but it really flowed out. It was just a much better element. So technically, you know, Anton and Elena hung on to a lot of things. They made some mistakes. Jamie and David didn't. And so they shouldn't have been tied on the technical score. Well, what are Jamie and David thinking 24 hours later? Right now, they're with Sandra Bezik at the International Broadcast Center. Thanks, Tom. Jamie and David, thanks so much for coming in. What have the last 24 hours been like? <laughs> it's been a little bit overwhelming, actually. Um, we haven't had much sleep, obviously, too, so um, we've been doing interviews, and obviously there's a lot of chaos going on right now about uh, the controversy over what happened last night, but um, we're really happy. When you saw the tape of your long program, how did that feel? Oh, it's amazing. It brings back that feeling, because you know it happens so fast. It's over before you know it, and um, when I see the end and, and Dave kisses the ice, it's it's so perfect because we were here last year a year to the day and we skated two clean performances last year too and it's the warmth and the, the warmth and the love in, in that arena last night was incredible in a previous interview you said you weren't bitter with the results how can you not be bitter i mean you you both skated the two performances of your life the entire world except for i think five people felt that you had won how do you live with that um you have to accept it mm -hmm. you have to accept it so you can move on and we have learned in the past being athletes that if you do competition back to back to back all the time if either you win or you lose you take off your medal you put it in a box and you move on this is how tiger woods wins 25 tournaments mm -hmm. a year you know he wins a tournament, he forgets about it, he moves on to the next, and we've learned how to do that in the past. And obviously what we can control, we did it perfectly. Mm -hmm. What we cannot control, turns out we come second. It doesn't change the way we feel about our skating. Have you had a chance to talk to any of your competitors? Have you spoken with Yelena and Anton? No, we haven't mm -hmm. spoken with anybody. We've, we've kind of been rushed here and there, and I think... Um, I mean, we don't want to rain on anyone's parade either. We're so, we're happy for them, and, and they have the gold medal around their neck. But obviously, we are disappointed, and we know that that silver medal is gold anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I don't know if you're aware that during our telecast, we had a poll um, on, on the Internet where people could vote um, what, they thought. what they thought who should win, and 100,000 people responded. 95% responded, of course, in your favor. 
uh, I'm sure a lot of those people were, were kids, were aspiring skaters mm -hmm. who have dreams. After this experience that you've just gone through, what kind of advice can you give them? You know what? You can't let anyone take your dream away from you. And our best advice is to dream big. And uh, it's, it's part of being an athlete. And Dave and I have learned so much through figure skating and traveling and meeting so many wonderful people. You can never take that away from us. And we love what we do. It's such a passion. And it doesn't matter. You know what? It is a judge sport. But for us, it's just we just love to figure skate. And that's, that's all it is. And I hope that everybody in any sport can just have that much passion in what they do and yes you want your personal best and sometimes it doesn't work out but that's okay well thank you both so much congratulations you are true champions thank you thank you both of them remarkably gracious and sportsmanlike in light of what occurred last night now according to usa today the french judge told the international skating union that she was forced to make a deal in which she'd vote for the russians in return for a vote for the French team in the ice dancing competition, which starts on Friday. The French team of Anasina and Pezerat is considered one of the favorites for gold. Still to come, the conclusion of the men's figure skating short program with another crowd-pleasing Canadian, the inimitable Elvis Stoiko, who as usual will be skating to his own special beat.